Well, we met in high school. She was a cheerleader. I was a. Uh, just wanted to be on the football team, and at that time, it seemed like the only time that anybody got with a cheerleader was if they were a football star. So it pushed me ahead to go at it, and I made the cut. Second team, you know, special ops. I, I was good. Everything that we did was just beautiful. We fell in love. Puppy love, they call it, but it was love. And it lasted. We went to different schools for college, so we were about an hour and a half away. So what I would do is, on the weekends, I would drive up to her, bring her down to my college, and then bring her back up. Those weekends were fantastic. They were what cemented us and really made us what we were. After college, our graduation party really was our wedding. Everybody in both of our colleges wanted to attend since they knew both of us. We had kids. And boy, did we have fun making those kids. I mean, every single square inch of the house was just filled with our love <laughs> everywhere. We really made a home. And our home became it because we loved each other. And I never saw anything else come of it. I wanted the best for my family. I became a workaholic. I started staying long at the office and started taking off lucrative projects that I never thought that I would take, but I did because I wanted to make sure that my family was set. I wanted to make sure that my kids had everything that I did. I just got so consumed with it that I, I wasn't there. I wasn't there when I saw Bobby take his first steps and I wasn't there for Junior's soccer practices or the award ceremonies and the list goes on, but I was doing the right thing. I was making sure that rent was getting paid and that they had sneakers and that they had jeans and sweaters and just anything that their little hearts would desire. I didn't realize it and me and Helen started having problems and I just wanted to work. I wanted to work and retire early so I could enjoy my family and she just needed a husband, I guess, and I thought I was being a good husband. I mean, isn't that what we're supposed to do? Is it? Aren't we supposed to provide and protect our family? It was September 27th and uh, I took it off because it was after the anniversary of 9-11 and uh, we get pretty emotional around those times because I was around Ground Zero when it happened. So I decided to go home early just because. I bought flowers, I bought her some naughty lingerie like I used to do back in the day and some takeout. She loves dumplings. She wasn't in the house, so I looked around. She should have been. Something told me to just go downstairs to the basement. Maybe she was doing laundry. So I heard a sound, and I, I, I go to the sound, and before I even opened the door, I, I, I knew what was happening. I, You've had the floor just break from under you? That's what happened. I, I don't remember anything else after that, but... The floor was just covered in blood and... That's all I can remember. That's all, Your Honor.